220 to be exact. I believe it had to be now that the announcement of him going to leave Man United Okay, I'm not gonna drag too long but I'm just gonna speak out my mind you know, regarding this announcement All I can say is I'm completely heartbroken that this has to happen and um, the decision has been made and Ronaldo has to leave Man United for what he has done in the interview I mean for people it's inevitable and that's what people want but for me, I, I wish it didn't, it didn't end this way, you know. Whether Ronaldo wanted to leave Man United in the first place or not remains unknown to me. But what I know for sure when he played these last few games, I can tell that he really still plays for the club, you know. Plays for the badge. No matter what, he loves the club regardless of the state of it. And whatever, and regardless whatever was on his mind and, you know, with him renting out whatever it is about Man United, the, the behind the scenes, he still loves the club. And I know that. And, um... <sighs> can't believe I have to go through this again, like, how I broke down in 2009 when he left for Real Madrid and I think this kind of heartbreaking feeling will be different because that first heartbreak I was young I was I was still a kid you know and I looked up to Ronaldo as the, the guy of Manchester United and for him to leave United for Real Madrid at that time to me it, it, it hurts because United wasn't really a thing if it if there's no Ronaldo. So I was obsessed with Ronaldo wearing a United jersey every season even though it's deemed impossible. So I had I have this love-hate relationship with Ronaldo, you know. Like as much as I want Ronaldo to succeed, some parts of me want him to not succeed, you know. And those times where he won the Champions League some part of me feels happy for him and some parts of me hating that that fact that he won it without United. But then when he left Real Madrid to for Juventus, suddenly I have this I, I lost that that sense of hate. I think it's no, I think it all began with the twenty eighteen World Cup. That's where I started to love him fully all over again. And um and when he joined Juventus, you know, with his success Regardless, even if you, even when he scored against United during his first season, I have no hate for him. I completely that that hate is all gone, you know. And throughout his adventures, then he joined back Man United, and it was amazing, you know. Regardless of the season outcome, I felt that him returning, in my opinion, was a good choice, you know, because we needed him to carry the team, even though. The team fully toppled that uh, last season and you know I think this season I think he should just retire he's just not the same player anymore his ego is starting to ruin his reputation but, I mean that's your opinion but for me I don't care about what he says behind like off the pitch you no know? like those interview that I saw you know I don't really care less all I care is him playing for United is all that matters to me you know and when I see him play, it just makes me happy. And now he's not going to be playing for Man United anymore. All I'm hoping now, and I know this sounds like, like I'm a total dick back here. I want Ronaldo to win the World Cup now. So that he can retire immediately. 
I mean, I would rather I would want to see him end his career at Sporting or any other team. But I I would rather listen. I rather have him keep his word when he said that after he win the World Cup, he should just retire. And I agree with that. He should he should just retire. If he can't win, if he can't stay at United to win this one useless trophy, according to everybody, but to me, it just it still marks something for the goat, you know. I you know you know at the start of the season, I know I sound really delusional and I know I sound like a total idiot, but I wanted to see Ronaldo lift that Europa League trophy. But now I won't get to see it because of what's happening. The only thing I can experience him lifting the Europa League trophy is playing FIFA 22 all over again or FIFA 23. But I don't even have to FIFA 23 because I completely fell out with the game. <coughs> um, it's just unbelievable, you know. Regardless of what he said in the interview, and I and I know in a way people deem Ronaldo disrespected Ten Hag, but I feel that it comes around too, you know, because I think what Ronaldo said could have been better based on his views on Ten Hag. But what he said, it it, it seems it seems it seemed to make sense, you know, because Ronaldo. Is that kind of player, regardless of the humiliation, he will still go through that that humiliation. And I remember, I remember back in 2011, you know, he had to experience Real Madrid losing to Barcelona 5-0 at Camp Nou. And he had to play that game and had to experience it knowing that Messi was better than him that season itself. And he had, and he dealt with it, you know. Ronaldo, that's kind to me, Ronaldo is that kind of person, right? When he faces humiliation, he will overcome it in his own ways, in his own terms. And I feel that this interview was the last resort. If he can't experience the humiliation by playing in the pitch on those times where United were, were at a downpour of shitness, which is against Man City, that 6-3 scoreline, in my opinion, Ten Hag should just played Ronaldo, you know. Just let him play. Let him play for the love of football. Not for the sake of, oh, I want to protect his his reputation. That, that's a, that, that, that just that doesn't make sense. And for him to not put Ronaldo on, and for him to wanting to only put him on with three minutes to go, I myself felt dis, dis, disrespected too because you're already at two goals up. We might as well have him in for the, for the cameos. Cameos, when I'm in my cameos, I'd rather have those cameos at least 10 minutes. Like how Ten Hag put Ronaldo in like for the last 10 minutes. That's fine with me. But if you're going to put nearly to the stoppage time, you might as well don't, don't even bother. And with the club suspending him uh, after that Spurs game, it just makes sense, no, because the club has to do so. But then now Ronaldo in reveal, uh, unveiling the interview, this and that. And <coughs> I have the same jersey as it. Thanks. The thing he said in the interview, look, it hurts me. Watching my role model disrespecting our current manager, legend Rooney, and the club feels surreal. I mean, I mean, disrespecting the manager could be one thing, but you could never know. We, we could never know if it's true or not, you know, because if Ten Hag, because now, now, if you're, if you're telling me that what Ten Hag says, like, he's protecting Ronaldo's reputation is true, just doesn't, doesn't feel right, you know, because you have to see both sides of the story, and I feel like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not siding with anyone on this story, but, but, I feel like this whole thing toppled down badly. I don't know if Ronaldo really wanted to leave, but I feel that he, in a way, didn't want to leave because he's Man United. 
and he wanted in a way he he wanted to help united rebuild help with the rebuilding but she wasn't being part of it and it, it's sad and i saw one of the comments says what the hell is this is just me speaking out my mind about the situation and whether you like it or not if you don't like just get out okay this is just me speaking out my mind and ending it in a way that i hope that i don't actually i it's not that i don't i won't hate him either way because it has to be when it has to be um but yeah i don't want to say about what's happening currently i'm just gonna like cherish cherished all the good memories that i have with ronaldo in the first and the second stint you know 136 goals could have hit 150 but hey it happened when it happened and it is what it is you know i'm just glad that i managed to witness ronaldo scoring such amazing goals you know and um yeah and Wherever he goes, I will still support him. But I would rather have him end his journey with the with this World Cup win. You know, so that's why I'm supporting Portugal for the World Cup. Um, I hope in the future, when Ten Hag should have let Ronaldo play. He's the most expensive player. He's useless, but exactly, exactly. Doesn't matter of his age. Ronaldo is that kind of guy, even when he's humiliated, like how he gets humiliated against Liverpool, against Man City, against Arsenal. He dealt with that. He dealt with the humiliation and keep carrying on with his game. And the fact that, and the fact that this whole situation it's making things worse, not only for Ronaldo, but also for Man United in a context. It, it hurts me, you know. It hurts me because I want to see both succeed. And now, I feel like there's karma. Gonna, karma's going to come. Eventually, it's going to come. And I saw, uh, and I know, yes, Cody Gakpo. It would be a, a fantastic replacement for Ronaldo, but I think it would be too big of a shoes to fill. So, I guess in a way, we should get him in, into United. But at the same time, I'm worried. I'm worried for Cody. But yeah. I'm hoping that Ronaldo wins the World Cup. And with him only win the World Cup, United will still progress to greater heights. You know, I, do, I can't see United win the Premier League, honestly. I can't see United winning it this season, even though we are looking good. But the problem is, is consistency. And we lack it. You know, even on the Ten Hag. You know, Ten Hag may be a great boss. He disciplines the players. But if the players can't give the consistency that we all desire, and there's no point. There is no point of hoping for big things. The only big thing we can hope for is the Europa League and the FA Cup. Let alone the League Cup. And for some reason, I have a feeling there's karma coming. But I'm not gonna but I'm not gonna push it further because if I'm gonna if, because if I'm gonna say it fully we're gonna die, boy. We're gonna die. We need a good death as well. Yeah. If, if only the club think through this and, you know, like, okay, fair enough. There was a breach of contract and Ronaldo should be punished. But I, I'd rather have, I uh, know, I have, I have my own solutions, but I'm not, I'm not professional, you know, because I'm gonna share to you guys about this, you know. We have, like, I have, I have this, uh, I have the hounds, the take white hounds, and we have this specific player, you know, he is technically playing for two teams, one for us and one for Woolens Warriors, and technically it is somewhat a breach of contract, but my, but because my team is not professional and my team is not as uh, disciplined as Woodlands Warriors, what I did for this player is that I will let him make his own decisions, you know. And it and I'm telling him this not because he's bigger than our club. I'm telling this because I care about his I care about his decision making. I care about him wanting to enjoy football while he can. And 
in my opinion, him playing for Woodlands Warriors is just competitive level only. But with the Hounds, it's just a place where he can freely be technically himself and just have fun. This was this was also a case for my cousin uh, Farouk, who is a big inspiration for Cristiano Ronaldo. And, you know, like, back in 2018, he played once or a couple of times, you know, and he tried to act bigger than the club, but I didn't... I didn't do much of it and you know if he wanted to leave he just leave and we let him leave and then he coming back last year because he wanted to play for his hometown club which is Take Y because he was born he he grew up here and we let the door open for him you know we welcome him back with open arms and we give him the number seven knowing that he is Take Y Hounds very own Cristiano Ronaldo and he is you know, sure he may not be as skillful, but he brings out that veteran, uh, veteran. Um, uh, he brings out the mentor mindset to the to our players, uh, to our teammates, and Farouk's been amazing, you know. And to us, we look at Ronaldo and we really admire Ronaldo for what he has done, whether he's at United or not. Me. Um, Jonathan, uh, Farouk, Akimi, and some other more. We looked up to him, you know. We all looked up to him. We celebrated like him when we scored our goals. And regardless now, we're still going to do it for him. Not for him. We're going to do his celebrations, you know. Not, not, not for him, but for the love of football. Because we love it so much to the point where we just don't care. We just celebrate the shit of it, you know. So, yeah. Apologies for me just talking off topic. But, yeah. Ronaldo is, is a huge inspiration for me in football. And um, Ronaldo, you know, is the reason why I am... I like Ronaldo is the reason why I love football. Ronaldo is the reason why I love Manchester United. Ronaldo is the reason why I wanted to wear number seven. But because I couldn't back then and now, I just have something like, for instance, I'll wear number 27 or number 17. Either way, there's still seven. So there's still a link to Ronaldo. 17 there is still linked with Ronaldo because Ronaldo's national team number is 17. So yeah. Um, I think I will miss him playing for Manchester United and I just wish for the best. I want to see Ronaldo raise the cup in Man United. Now I only can see him raising the cup in Portugal. It's useless Ten Hag didn't... It's useless Ten Hag didn't put him in his first 11. It's so sad seeing him live. Yeah, I agree with you, man. I agree with you. But what, what can we do? We have to accept it. And... I wasn't ready again for this heartbreak but now in a way there's a difference to it now um compared to 2009 when he left for real madrid i hated him a lot now he leaves man united but i still love him i love him as a i love him as a player i love him as a football player i love him as a football great, I love him as a legend, I love him as a Manchester United great and I will never stop loving him, you know, I'll never stop loving him. I hope he will succeed in the World Cup and I hope he wins the World Cup and then straight away retires. How are you gonna watch, uh, you, are you gonna watch the France? No, I don't think so. I might, uh, I might have a two hour, two or two to three hour sleep so that I can play later at the Lion City Sailors training facility where I'll be playing against Dortmund fans. So, yeah. Bro, dude, with you being involved in the comment, thanks for the, the thanks for, for accompanying me, man. I thought that I'm just going to speak my mind out with no one listening to it. But hey, I guess I'm different from, from the typical Man United fans. 
Yeah, I see that typical Man United fans all like, oh you do, oh you disrespect, oh you disrespect the club, you deserve to leave, or oh, you wish you are the best, blah blah blah. For me, whatever he says, whether I like it or not, I respect his words, because it takes a lot of, it takes a lot of your heart and courage to tell the truth, and no one. No one is brave enough to tell the truth these days, and the fact that Ronaldo did makes him a villain. A villain, to me, it, 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 to me, I don't see him as a villain. I still see him as a hero. I still see him as someone who has the courage to tell the truth to the world, whether the whether the people would see him as a. Do you remember the kid you talked to against Tanjung Pagar? Is it the Brandon kid or is it the other one? I can't remember. I hope you're not the Brandon kid, man. <laughs> I hope you're not. But if you are, then so be it. I can't remember, but I think I do. Were you there? Were you supporting sales or or Tanjung United? Either either way. The one with the pink shirt. I think I did. I think I do. Thanks, man. Thanks for the talk. Thanks for talking to me. Thanks for reaching out to me. You know, you know hey, that's me. good to see you, man. Good to see you. It's a pleasure meeting you, man. If you want, if you if you see me anywhere, don't be afraid to come to me. You know, don't be afraid to come say hi to me. You know, I'm not that kind of guy where. If people come see me, I will like, hey, don't disturb me. I, I, I doing some shit. Then I, I will try my best to. I will try my best to, you know, have a small conversation with you so that you feel. I wanna say feel inspired, but like, how do you, how do I explain this? Moving forward, when I get famous, I want the opportunities to be able to have small conversations with the people who, in, are uh, inspired, uh, who aspire me you know and oh by the way i want to share you this story there was a little kid i was i was at woodlands with my family we just had dinner um we were just going we were just buying some stuff after that a little kid come to me he was like hey are you the line city supporter i was like oh my i was like shocked you know and i was like yeah and he was like oh i see you at the stadium i watch your videos man my heart my heart completely flustered in a way that there was someone who appreciates the appreciates my content you know even though people in tiktok see me as an immature kid see so someone see me as a villain but to see him approaching me and let's say hi you know and the fact that my mom laughed at me for that i couldn't care less no I, i'm just i'm just grateful that i've got a couple of supporters who noticed me outside football and um a couple of times where a lot of people approach me sometimes i wasn't too comfortable about it but i try my best to not look comfortable you know and to not no sorry i try my best to not look uncomfortable you know just just i'm just say hi you know but moving forward i want to you know engage in small conversations you know, just ask like oh how are you doing uh, like like what you want to do in life this and that blah 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 and if i were to be goofy when i talk to you guys please please don't mind me uh, please don't mind me okay because because in videos i may look like a serious guy but in real life i'm very goofy you know i know i know myself i'm very goofy and i tend to make really inconsiderate jokes you know Sometimes I call my own my own close friends daddies. In fact, like in the Take White Hounds, you know, Jonathan, I call him daddy because why not? You know, why not? I can act goofy around them, but but in football, obviously I had to take the lead. So I was too serious about it. <laughs> but yeah, um Yeah, yeah. I'm I mean, I feel like in a way I'm stepping in Ronaldo's shoes of being famous and being an inspiration to a number of people and by the way at the airport a um, couple of kids also recognized me. okay a few of uh, kids recognized me 
and then there was a YouTuber, a small YouTuber. Now he's growing rapidly, and I'm very happy for him. The fact, uh, the goal difference, Brandon from the goal difference. Um, he wanted to do a short interview with me. I was like, yeah, yeah, why not, man? It, it, it's good. It's good to have. It's good to have someone. Uh, that wants to have me featured. I, I, I don't mind it, you know. If anyone wants me to be part of the video, I'm down for it. Um, and then like the fact that he told me that. He was in he that like, I inspired him to do local football content it, it it really makes me happy you know because that because I want to do this on a long run and I hope I'll be able to do this on a long run and with the dreams that I have with futsal hoping that it's an impossible dream I know I know but with the hopes that we can get into the World Cup maybe not 11 aside but 11 but Futsal, maybe it's possible, but I do hope to make it happen. But if I can't, it's fine. Just as long as I'm able to create a professional futsal association. Because right now, I don't think we have any. So with the power of YouTube, with the power of supporters, maybe it's possible. You know, the fact that the SG YouTube football account, uh, the, semi, the knockout stage promo, it has 2,000 views. 2,000 views! I I feel so happy seeing it, you know. And I'm not happy because of the views. I'm happy because of the attention that it's getting, you know. The attention that these teams are getting. Maybe not for the hounds, but maybe for the others. It's still something good to me because I want to start a revolution. I want... Like, like Cristiano Ronaldo, I want to make history. I want to set records. I want to break records. And right now, we are able to do so, you know, with the stream, with the, the Merlin Regional stream. We had 300 views on the group stage video. 300. Three bloody 100 views. A lot of people watched it. It's amazing. And I hope we can get the views more more and more in fact we're gonna have our own sg youtube football channel but that's gonna be for the highlights that's gonna be for like like introducing the players so that you guys may be able to recognize them you know but yeah ronaldo will forever be a football good regardless of what he's done you know like regardless of the interview i still see him as an inspiration i still see him as one of the best to ever grace in a football pitch and for him to leave is just sad you know but this is where we all have to accept the facts but i'm deeply grateful for ronaldo and it's never a good riddance to 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 get rid of someone like him for what he did in the interview i feel that when him calling out the glazers i feel like united shouldn't have sacked him i feel like regardless yeah, yeah, I, I, I hope you realize that, you know. But yeah, um, I wish that United board, you know, would have think through it and see Ronaldo's criticism as something that okay. We have to listen to what he said because he knows almost everything. And if you and we and if we sack him, that's just. That's just a bitchy move, and it and it felt like a bitchy move. But you know, I'm I'm not the one to say. I just want to say what I want to say. I only wish that after when the the interview come out, Man United would have think through it and you know talk to Ronaldo and share the and have the players also speak out the problems in the in the internal affairs of Man United and then have them fix that. You know. But hey, we're not we're not we're not a bloody country who focus on politics. We play football. But then you see now these days it's all it's only all about the money. And it sucks. But yeah. All good things must come to an end, right? I'm hoping for Ronaldo to retire after winning the World Cup.
that's all I'm gonna say that. And I know this sounds like a total dick bag move considering that I want him to continue to play. But hey, let's let's have him keep it keep his word. Win the World Cup straight away end it, you know. End it halfway. Let's end it on the high. But yeah, um Ronaldo, I know you're not gonna watch this obviously. Oh yeah, by the way. I wish one day, one day, like Chris MD, I'll be able to make a video with Ronaldo. It seems impossible, but let's make it happen. I want to do a video with Ronaldo, regardless if it involves physically playing football or not. I want it to happen, and I want you guys to feel inspired by it. Okay, that sounds wrong, but yeah, I want to make. I want a video. Or, or just, a, just a photo with Ronaldo and that will be enough with me and I might be done with 11 side football so yeah <laughs> that sounds wrong but yeah um, yeah that's basically it no I think I might want to watch France against Australia but then again I have no subscription for the World Cup so I might have to watch it illegally or maybe I'll edit videos, you know. What I'm, I'm gonna need to do football highlights. But yeah, um, I need to see your name, man. I need to know your name, Jeffrey. Thanks for accompanying me in this um chat. What do you think of the Singapore group? Um, if you're talking about Singapore football, I think we're improving slightly. And the fact that the cup isn't won by Albrecht is is it's good, and it's won by Haugang, that's better, rather than Tampines, which is even better. I wish we have been LCS, but nah, nah, we deserve to fall this season. Uh, well, that sounds wrong, but um, I feel that we should have a brief skin of new winners. We cannot have consistent winners. It just feels wrong. So I feel that the downfall it makes sense in a way. But yeah, I'm happy for Haugang, even though they're our rivals. Um, yeah, I'm happy for our women's team for being unbeat for unbeat for being unbeaten in the league. Favorite player of the LCS women team, Kairisa, by far. Absolute amazing youngster. Look out for her, man. She's gonna be great. She's gonna be great for the defense. But yeah, um, Singapore. Like 11 side football, I think it can be better. Do you believe Singapore national team will win till semifinals? Inshallah. 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 If things go right, I think it, it's possible. Uh, do I want to see Singapore... No, no. Is it possible for Singapore to reach the World Cup group stage? The main group stage? It's hard, it's hard, obviously it's hard, but but last, the the road to the 2022 World Cup, Qatar, it, we were close actually. In my opinion, we were close. If it wasn't for the pandemic, we were so close to qualify to the next stage. It happens, you know, it happens. But I'm hoping for the best for uh, Singapore on the next stage. Um, what I can say is, let's hope they work hard for it and, yeah. Uh... Now I just want to. Now I just want to see Portugal beat the shit out of everyone, and even England. Let's have him. Let's have Ronaldo win the World Cup and completely retire. If not, go to Sporting for the final five months and then retire, and then just be a coach. You know, be a coach or uh, or be a sporting director. You know, what? I'd rather have Ronaldo be a be a sporting director at Manchester United. I love to see it. But yeah, um, that's gonna be it, you know, from me. Um, with the two people here watching. Thanks for their company. Um, videos will be coming out very soon. Uh, I'll be doing Take Why Hounds highlights here on this channel. Um, uh, Take Why Hounds hi other highlights can also be available on the new channel coming soon for the SG YouTube football. Um, also. 
LCS Adventure Vlogs, we're going to have two final episodes. Uh, maybe three, uh, depending on how it goes. Uh, later today, I'll be going to the facility to meet the Dortmund players. So hopefully we can make a video. I can make a video out of it. Uh, hopefully, I really want to make a video with Homos and Marco Royce. I managed to get a picture with them and it's amazing. But we know what would be amazing if I can make at least one short video. Even if it's a TikTok video, let's, I want to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. Hopefully, let's make it. Come on. And then also the last episode obviously is going to be LCS against Dogman. And just in case uh, for, the, for all the LCS supporters who watch my content, who are watching right now, Will we see a season 4 of the Adventure Vlogs? Yeah, you know what? Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. And since I will be ORD, ORDing on February the 13th, there's going to be view, there's gonna be videos. Uh, but then there will be a stage of time where I'll be away. So I want to have a backup host. So my plan now is find a, a good co-host who has at least a handphone and is able to build his or her personality as a creator and as a fan of LCS so that people can recognize them, you know. So yeah, the, the videos will still remain here. Um, someone reached out to me. Okay, that, that's not someone, no, obviously. That's not someone. Um, I was close to join Silla Fan Talk, but the reason why I rejected is because I won the vlog. I feel like I feel like the vlog should stay in my channel and not to be moved because if you move it to the set of fan talk, it feels very rough in a way. And if I want to move it over to the set of fan talk uh, channel, I rather have someone take over the take over the vlogs, and then I will try come up with something new. Maybe like my own, maybe like my own local football content, like for vlogs, etc. So yeah, um, I think it's it's getting really late, and I think you guys need to sleep too. I, I know, I know, the World Cup is coming. So yeah, I, I, look, World Cup's already here. What the hell? Um, yeah, go go ahead and watch a World Cup. You know, don't don't, for now, try not to. Try not to prioritize so much on me because I'm I'm not gonna be posting a lot. Maybe I'm not be able to go for the Dortmund against Sevilla game. Ah, that's that, that's sad, man. But if you can come, would love to meet you, man. Just find me. Just come find me and just say, oh, I'm the, I'm 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 Jeffrey. I'm the guy with the, the ping that you last saw me. And then I'll I'll just say, yeah. Hopefully I can recognize you. So yeah. Um, We've gone off topic numbers of numerous of times, you know. But you know what? It's fine. This is what I want. I rather have us converse, have a conversation with each other, even though you will only be able to just comment out, and I'll be able to just read it and just say what I have to say and say what I want to say. This is this is what I want, you know? and I'm glad that I'll be able to interact with someone like you, rather than a troll person like talking cock, you know. But yeah, um, it's good, you know. I think he's. But yeah, um, have a good uh, enjoy the game, the France against Australia. Hopefully, I can try find a way to watch the game. Uh, yeah, I was uh, I support Celeste because of you, and my bro. Oh, you're that kid. Oh, that's you. Ah, now I recognize you. But but I keep forgetting your face, so apologies. But yeah, hey dude, bro, bro, if you can come, just find me, join us the crew, and start chanting with us, man. Start chanting with us. Even if it means if you lost losing your voice, cause I always lose my voice. Just come and sit with us, man. We welcome everyone, okay? We're not bloody internal. Okay? Okay? Yeah, do come. If you if you're able to meet us, sit with us, man. Have your family sit with us. Even if it's not directly, just, just sit near with us and just chant along. And if you don't know the chant, we can teach you. you know, we're completely open. We are still a small group and we are open to have more people to join. So yeah, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna uh, wash up a bit and start editing the, uh, the Merlin Regionals highlights. And of, 
yeah, good night, man. Good night. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, final say about the Ronaldo leaving. It's sad to see him go, but all good things must come to an end. Even though it wasn't really a good ending, but yeah, let's hope to see Ronaldo winning the World Cup and then have him retire straight away. And that will be to me a good ending to a fantastic player career. So yeah, thank you, Cristiano Ronaldo. Hopefully I can meet you in real life one day and I would like to have a video with you. I would like to make a short video with you. And yeah, good night everyone. Or should I say good morning everyone. And let's enjoy the World Cup. And if you watch our Futsal Association, do support us at SG YouTube Football because we want to make a difference for Singapore and hopefully we will achieve the dream of going to the World Cup. Even if, even if it's not the World Cup, Hopefully Futsal World Cup will do. So yeah. Have a great day everyone and let's let's go through this peacefully.